Jets has been just a busy, busy offseason for the Jets, for the Browns too, uh, but certainly for the Jets, who just a couple of minutes ago, they decided to sign McCole Harbin, wide receiver, and they had a, a packed wide receiver room. You got Alan Lazard, uh, you got McCole Harbin, uh, you got Garrett Wilson, you got Elijah Moore, you got Corey Davis, but they were like, hold up, we, it's too much of y'all up in here. One of y'all, probably some, but one of y'all got to go. And the person who they chose to go was somebody who wanted to go last year. During the season, we remember the tweets. We, we remember the presses. We remember all of that stuff. Elijah Moore clearly was not happy uh, with the New York Jets last year and his situation. And it's just the lack of opportunity that he got. The lack of targets that he got. He just was not happy. So now the Jets were like, all right. We got you. We ain't going to forget. Even though they just came out like a couple days ago, a couple days ago, and said, we're not trading Elijah Moore. He will not be traded. He's not going to be on the trade block. He ain't going nowhere. But that proved to be false. This why you can't put it past these teams. And I know situations change. Circumstances change. I get that. But a team could come out and say everything that they want, but nothing matters unless you actually see something Go down. We've seen this time and time again where teams will be like, all right, nope, we're going to have this player. Oh, nope, this player isn't going anywhere. Boom. And they end up getting shipped off. But Elijah Moore um, is now a Cleveland Brown. Uh, and whew, what was the compensation, though? Because that's always what we want to know. That's one of the first things we always want to know when it comes to a trade. What was the compensation? Well, the Jets are trading Elijah Moore in their third round pick to the Browns for their second round pick. So this is how you could tell they really, really wanted to get rid of Elijah Moore because they sent in their third round pick too. So they're basically just moving up in the draft because they get in the Browns' second round pick. I said, they, they, they really just moving up in the draft. They're like, ah, right, you can have our third. We'll take your second. We just want to get that much higher. So this continues to give them even more ammo I wonder if they could possibly, they could use this for an Aaron Rodgers trade if that ever ends up happening. I mean, they're they doing more trades for other players than they are for Aaron Rodgers himself, but who, who knows what's happening with that. I feel like every day that passes, uh, his the price for Aaron Rodgers could be going down. But I, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but, yeah, so now Elijah Moore, he joins Deshaun Watson with Amari Cooper. With Donovan Peoples-Jones. And now you can insert him there. And you got to realize for him, he, you know he's got to be hoping like, all right, I, can, I got a quarterback now. I got a quarterback now. I, I may have some real opportunity now. I may have somebody that may see me open and get me the ball consistently. So now it's about the work that he puts in. Now it's about him establishing himself uh, with the Cleveland Browns as a receiver. And Elijah Moore, obviously all the potential in the world, but – uh, we never really got to consistently see that potential uh, with the New York Jets. And we'll see if that ends up changing now that he's with the Cleveland Browns.